All right, we are here and we are going to check out Rise of Resistance as POV footage thanks to Attractions 360. We're going to check out the full POV at um, right here on YouTube. Um, please definitely go subscribe to the channel to do fantastic POVs. This is at Disney World. <coughs> it's opening tomorrow. It's opening January 17th here at Disneyland. Let's go check it out. First of all, obviously, we're starting in this really cool. Um, this is after the, the interrogation room. You see, a, is that an animatronic over there? I'm not entirely sure. No, no, it's actually that's the actually that's the person. Um, <coughs> but allergies, guys. But the ride control panel and a little R5 droid here leading us on our escape. So let's check it out. Wow. First of all, look at the set detail. It's, this is very nice. And the fluid motion of the chassis technology is amazing. Woohoo! Probe joy. Look at that animatronic. Again, uh, this one has a beautiful use of screen technology as well as physical sets. Look at those walls and the blast marks they have there. Um, those blast marks are projection mapping, not actual uh, blast marks, by the way. And hold on, look at this. Look at those at ads, those ATATs, massive things. I remember when they were being built and just so massive and realistic. This is This thing is really crazy. Let's go check it out. Again, nice use of screens here with the massive ATATs and the animatronic of Finn in the corner right over here. I don't know why he's switching to the cell phone version or that different view. So we can take the elevator up and the ATAT is going to blast right at you. Look at this. And again, those the, the ceiling, the uh, blast marks there, incredible. That one, take a look here. Look at Kylo Ren's fluid. That, these are two animatronics. Look at their fluid motions, uh, especially Kylo Ren when he turns and um, tries to find you guys. Look at that. <laughs> those are beautiful animatronics. And I just love the trackless technology in general. Look at this, they pulled <laughs> this up. Look at that lightsaber. I don't understand how that they do that. Because that thing wasn't there before. And again, the guns, and again, the screen technology is to really show that you're in space. Massive, it looks like in a Star Destroyer here. Here we go into our escape pods. After Kylo tries to get some info out of us. Yeah, but look at that blast again. Again, an animatronic, the blast is amazing. The fluid of movements after he gets blasted, it's crazy. Here we go into our escape pods. Now look at this. This is this is also crazy. We also have the, the drop track, but it, it turns into like a star tours. It's a, crazy how like a drop track simulator. See, so yeah, it just drops, but then quickly turns into like star tours and makes it feel like you're really in space. Crazy.
And that, I don't know how fast, fast you're going in there, but it just makes it probably feel like you're flying, like zooming. I must feel incredible. I cannot wait to write this. This next time is a little dark and it's back in that cell phone type mode they filmed it in, but they're basically just going on the exit now and then you go outside. It's crazy. Yeah. Look at this. That's an Admiral Akbar. Um, I don't think it's a hologram. I think it's an actual animatronic because that's an actual escape pod capsule. And we're outside. We're in this exit. I thought it was going to be a walkway, but no, this is an actual ride still going outside. You can see this part as you walk into the galaxy's edge, the canopy area of the wreckage. And then you exit. Incredible ride. I cannot wait to watch the ride this January 17th, opening weekend here at Disneyland. But let me know below, what do you guys think of this POV? Again, subscribe to Attractions Magazine for more POVs of just different rides around the world. And um, and more stuff from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. They they do fantastic uh, POVs. Also, um, make sure you comment below what you guys thought of the attraction. Please subscribe to this channel um, for more updates. I'll be at Disneyland again that present day weekend for the opening of this attraction. What do you guys think? We'll be at Disney World for it. We'll be making a trip to Disney World. Are you one of the people who are were waiting for this ride to open before you even experienced Galaxy's Edge at all? Comment your thoughts below. And as always, have a magical day.